carpet line and an insulation. So this is our brand new T6.1 factory combi. It's got a few extra bits just to make it a bit more awkward. It's got the motors for the power sliding doors on there. But we're just gonna run you through exactly how much we would use carpet wise and our method of doing it. There's lots of different methods. This is just the way we do it, but it'll give you an idea uh, if you come to do it yourself, exactly how many meters of uh, fabric that you would use. How much insulation would use we're not going to do the sound editing because we've done that in another video we are going to sound in this vehicle uh, to a degree but we won't be featuring that in the video so it'll be how much fabric how much sound deadening uh, and how many panel clips as well that you would use and then we'll explain this is a short wheel base twin slider the differences or the different amount you would need if you were going for a long wheel base or single slider and all the different variants we'll also show you how we lay the panels out to get the most out of your carpet and hopefully it'll be useful i'll now pass you over to blake and mikey and they'll run you through it so Blake's finished dripping it out now as you can see bare panels all the wooden boards from the side are out the floors out ceilings out he is about to start carpet lining um, he's going to do some soundproofing in it as well and some insulation but we've covered this in the video already so we're not going to bore you with that again so Blake has finished insulating soundproofing all round it's going to do the cab at a late stage but it's ready for carpeting now is currently cutting it just over two and a half meters on a short wheelbase so um, it says about five and a half meters in total for both sides That's the carpet lining done now, all round. And Blake's just marking out the holes, ready to cut them out for the clips to go back in for the panels. And afterwards he's gonna be trimming the panels, so we'll show you a bit more of that a bit later on. So now is the time to install the hidden panel clips. As you can see, you can just go around the factory holes in the factory panels and twist them in. Uh, some holes might need opening up ever so slightly, 12 mm drill bit, but there we go. Once this panel's now been trimmed, you can move on to installing the panels. Roost that they're a bit harder, but as you can see, Blake's used a prop here. So that's this van done, carpet lining finished. Hopefully that's been a help to you. After I've uh, finished this bit, we'll bring up on the screen uh, again how much carpet we use, depending on uh, if it's well on wheel base, short wheel base. Uh, it's fairly accurate, don't go by 100%, but we think that's what we would use. Things to take into consideration is some people carpet line in different ways. Um, the little things like on the tailgates and the side doors, we don't like carpet line the metal work. Uh, we just like doing the panels. It can look really nice when you do the metal work, but there is no real way to finish it properly without water getting in and lots of times we've seen vans that have had the carpet lining done all the way on the edge of the metal work and on the doors and it looks good initially and then 6, 12, 18 months on moisture's got in and the carpet's starting to peel away so it's something we choose not to do that doesn't mean it's not the right way to do it it's just something that, that we do it we like to leave uh, the metal work exposed on these and just carpet line the panels uh, so this obviously is an unusual van being uh, twin slider with the motors again we've kept these original not carpet lined them but uh, some people might choose to do it it is possible but we just wanted to kind of keep them original looking panel clips we again will explain exactly how many clips go into each panel so that's it carpet lining video finished plenty more videos to come thanks again for watching please like the video subscribe share it with anybody you think's about to start a project or would be interested in how to carpet line their van this carpet that we've used here is actually a carpet we'll be selling we've had some sample material through we've had a few samples that we weren't happy with but we wanted to get something that was 
uh, a quality that we would consider to be something we put in our own vehicles. We've tried it in this van and we're really impressed with it. So in the coming week, this will be available from our website and we'll put a link to that below. So you'll be able to be a bit of a one-stop shop in every way that we'll be able to supp supply you with the carpet and the glue and also all the hidden panel clips needed to carpet line your own van. And as always, thanks for watching.